All right, so we're gonna make a pond fountain. Or at least we're gonna try to. Just put it out in the pond out there. But in order to make it, I want you to be trying to find stuff around the house and so I don't have to really buy too much. I already have this sump pump. It's a real small one. I think it's like 600 gallons a minute or an hour. Got a minute. But uh, it's pretty small. And I mean, the fountain's not gonna be too big. I just want something out there. Make noise and stuff. We have a bunch of this sewer pipe just laying outside. So I wanted to use that for the floaty piece. So then I went to the the hardware store and got these 45s. So I'm going to make a, a square out of it. Um, and I'm glad I found that sewer pipe because these things were only like $5 a piece. Whereas the Schedule 40 PVC was like $15 a piece. And then I would have had to buy the Schedule 40, which was another you know 20 bucks for 10 feet of it. Um, so definitely if you're going to do this, if just get the sewer pipe. I mean, it's just for floating. So, I mean, it's not the biggest deal. I mean, it's just going to provide buoyancy for it. Um, also got some black spray paint over here. I'm going to spray paint it black when I'm done just to kind of make it hide under the water. Um, I also got one of these little fittings. It's supposed to be like hose to NPT. Then I got this, uh, I think it's NPT fitting to PVC Schedule 40. Also got a cap that we can go on there. And we're just going to drill a bunch of holes in it and just kind of see how it looks. I think I want to start by cutting this up in the two foot lengths and go from there so i'll be right back all right i probably should make this a little smaller like it is huge i don't know if it needs to be this big i mean i might cut off like six inches off of each side just make it a, a foot and a half because this is two foot i feel like i could i could sit on this thing out there and be fine and if you want to cut pipe like a boss get your portable bandsaw i want to show you how easy it is to cut this stuff That's still pretty big, but definitely manageable now. Like, that'll definitely do the job. Uh, I mean, for reference, I know I'm recording super, so that's definitely gonna do the job there. All right, so I have these fittings here. I got them all screwed on there. Um, I went ahead and cut up some pieces, um, and that's really all you need. I mean minus all this you could, don't really have to have all those reducers and stuff but what i got is a uh 7 30, 7 64 inch drill bit just because my eighth inch drill bit wasn't there it's a little bit smaller than the eight. and i'm gonna drill like a ton of holes in this and just kind of see how it turns out All right, so I kind of drilled those at an angle. Uh, so they kind of spray out one straight up and some are better than others. I mean, it's obviously just random holes. So I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna go put this in a bucket and put this on there and see how that looks. And if that looks good, I might just be the end of it and say screw the fancy top. So I'll be right back once I have a bucket of water. So I just have a bucket with the sun pump submerged and the top on it. Watch me get soaked. Honestly? 
that's pretty sweet. That's it. That's what I'm doing. That's it. All we got is just those little holes drilled in a circular pattern. That's perfect. That's all I'm doing. I want to go glue this sucker up. Actually, I want to mount this first. All right, so I got some little bolts and nuts to go on this wire strapping or whatever you want to call it. So I want to try to strap it up like this. I thought about just putting some screws into this pipe, but I guess I could and use some like silicone and stuff. I'm just afraid it's gonna leak. I'm trying to pull it as tight as possible. You want the world's best T-handles and the world's best pliers? Link in the description. These uh, T-handles are my, my favorite tool. Followed up these Nipex pliers. You can't beat them. This is going to keep it from sliding left to right. Probably don't need it, but... But we're going to do it. Honestly, I don't really see a point to glue this. I mean, it's snug. So... It's on there, it ain't going anywhere. So the second half to this is the cord's only about three feet, or no, it's about a 12 foot cord on this sump pump, but it's still not gonna reach the center of the pond. So, um, obviously make sure it's all unplugged. Don't do this if you don't know what you're doing. Um, all those things. All right, so what I want to do is splice this 50 foot extension cord onto the plug. Um, I could just really honestly just plug it in, maybe wrap some electrical tape around it. I mean, it's going to be on a GFI out outlet, so it's not going to be the end of the world. But if you got the stuff, you might as well do it right. So I just cut the end of the extension cord off, cut the end of the sump pump off. As you can see, it's getting pretty obvious what we're doing here. I've used these. They're like self-soldering clips or solder joints. These things are really nice. Um, I love them. Um, oh crap, biggest thing. Don't forget your heat shrink. So I have some of this triple layer heat sink. It does, uh, it's, uh, has a glue inside and it shrinks up pretty small. So that's the important part, it has that glue. So that way it like makes a really good connection. Um, so yeah, if you have that, definitely use that. Um, sometimes at the all right, I'm still under the belief, but I'm still under the belief that I made this thing way too big. The uh, stain. Oh look, there's a fish right there. A whole bunch of them right there, actually. Ugh. Oh yeah. All right, so I'm gonna have to definitely weigh this down in the center of the pond. Okay.
phase two of this project is going to be uh, painting it black so you can't see it. And then I'm probably going to attach attach the weights kind of to the uh, to the center of the pump so it pulls the pump straight down. So yeah. I'll probably put a clip in once it's all painted black and out there in the center.